Part 1, Describing Language and Language Skills Unit 1, Grammatical Structures Grammar rules also describe grammatical structures, i.e. the arrangement of words into pattern which have meaning. The rules for grammatical structures use grammatical terms to describe forms and uses, form refers to the specific grammatical parts that make up the structure and the order they occur in. Use refers to the meaning that the structure is used to express look these examples. Past continuous tense. To describe a temporary or background situation or action in the past. Passive voice. To show what happens to people or things. Comparative of long adjectives. Generally used with adjectives of two syllables or more to compare separate things or people. Passive voice. To show what happens to people or things. Comparative of long adjectives. Generally used with adjectives of two syllables or more to compare separate things or people. Parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech in the English language. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. The part of speech indicates how the word functions in meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence. Nouns A noun is a person, place, or thing. Girl Bus Jacket Cat School A verb tells what action someone is doing. A verb also can express a state of being. A pronoun is used in place of a noun. It is an easy way to name a person slash place slash thing. An adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. It tells what kind, how many, or which one. An adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. It tells what manner, time, place, and frequency. Lexis Lexis is individual words or sets of words, i.e. vocabulary items, that have a specific meaning. Examples, tree, get up, first of all. Vocabulary items have different kinds of meaning. It may describe the thing or idea of the item. Denotation. E.g. a plant having a permanently woody main stem or trunk, branches, and leaves. Prefixes and suffixes. Prefixes. A prefix is a word or part of a word that is placed in the front of another word to change its meaning. The meaning of the prefix can help us understand the meaning of the word. Un means not unhappy means not happy. The meaning of the suffix can help us understand the meaning of the word. Er means person who does an action teacher means person who teaches. Phonology is the study of the sound features used in a language to communicate meaning. In English, these features include phonemes, word stress, sentence stress, and intonation. Do you know what the signs and symbols in this word mean? Student A phoneme is the smallest unit of sound that has meaning in a language. For example, the S in books in English shows that something is plural, so the sound slash s slash has meaning. Different languages use a different range of sounds, and not all of them have meaning in other languages. Phonemic symbols help the reader know exactly what the correct pronunciation is. A phonemic script is a set of phonemic symbols which show, in writing, how words are pronounced. E.g. beautiful is written, slash, Jew, Teufel, slash, television is slash televi 3n slash and yellow is slash gelu slash. Dictionaries use phonemic script to show the pronunciation of words. They usually have a list of all the phonemic symbols at the beginning of the book, together with an example of the sound each symbol represents. The symbols are often grouped into consonants and vowels, and the vowels are sometimes divided into monophthongs, single vowel sounds as in put slash put slash or doc slash doc slash, and diphthongs a combination of two vowel sounds, e.g. the vowel sound in make slash meek slash or in so slash sow slash. There are several phonemic scripts and some small differences in the symbols they use, TKT and most learner dictionaries use symbols from the International Phonetic Alphabet, IPA. Unit 3 Phonology, Part 2
what is a function? A function is a reason why we communicate. Every time we speak or write, we do so for a purpose or function. Here are some examples of functions, apologizing, advising, greeting, agreeing, clarifying, disagreeing, inviting, refusing, expressing preferences, thanking interrupting, expressing obligation. Functions are a way of describing language use. We can also describe language grammatically or lexically through vocabulary. When we describe language through functions, we emphasize the use of the language and its meaning for the people who are in the context where it is used. Look at this table. What do you think an exponent is? The language we use to express a function is called an exponent. The pieces of direct speech in the middle column in the table above are all examples of exponents. In the third column, the functions are underlined. You can see from the table that we use the ing forms of verbs, e.g. suggesting, asking, to name functions. The words after the function in the third column are not the function. They are the specific topics that the functions refer to in these contexts. These exponents express different levels of formality, example, more or less relaxed ways of saying things. Generally speaking, Formal, serious, and careful, exponents are used in formal situations, informal, relaxed, exponents in informal situations, and neutral, between formal and informal, exponents in neutral situations. It is important to use the level of formality that suits a situation. This is called appropriacy. Language teaching classroom in language teaching, coursebooks are often organized around functions. For example, functions and language, like the ones in this chart, functions expressing likes language, first and third person, present simple affirmative, I like. He, she likes. Expressing dislikes, first and third person present, simple negative, I don't like. He, she doesn't like. Functions are often taught in coursebooks together with the grammar of their main exponents. There is an example of this in this map. You can see that the language in the second column includes present simple affirmative, which is a grammatical term, while I like. He, she likes, are exponents of the function expressing likes.